WGN investigates the train to nowhere. Travelers and workers at O'Hare continue to have trouble getting around because the airport can't seem to figure out how to get its trains back up and running. And so tonight, investigative reporter Ben Bradley is here with exclusive new information about all of this train trouble, Ben. Ray and Micah, how troubled is this train project at the airport? Nearly a quarter of the budget has been spent on buses. Yes, this is a story about planes, trains and automobiles that's having as much difficulty reaching its final destination as John Candy and Steve Martin did in their famous late 80s feature film. In the shadow of planes, you'll find some old trains. One vandal scrawled, time is killing me on a train car's side. He's not the only one. You know, not having a train is just an inconvenience. So I think it's just like, you know, what's the, what's the hold up? That's what we wondered. The airport transit system designed to whisk passengers and workers from one terminal to the next has been offline for nearly three years now. The more than $300 million project was supposed to be finished two and a half years ago with little disruption to travelers. Instead, Red door is open. they have to take the bus. You get people screaming and hollering because they don't know where they're going. Uh, I can tell you, I didn't like the shuttle. I'd rather take the train anytime. <laughs> the buses aren't cheap. They've cost $81.5 million. And remember, it wasn't supposed to be this way. The original contract said the airport people mover could be enhanced and extended with minimal impact to travelers. The tracks were extended out to a brand new rental car facility. But you still can't get there or anywhere at the airport by train. It's a disgrace, frankly. It really is. WGN Investigates used the Freedom of Information Act to unearth emails to better understand how the project went so far off the rails. They blame everything from a shortage of experienced and expert subsystem engineers to COVID for the delays. But keep in mind, this project started and was supposed to be completed long before the pandemic. One big issue has been the tracks. Unlike most other airport people mover projects, engineers have been trying to put the new automated train cars on existing railway. The kind of issues that arose and the delays that kept coming up suggest to me that A, the project was not sufficiently well planned and clearly the execution has failed us. The emails also revealed the new trains, which are now being tested, don't work so well during winter weather. After a few weeks of snow and ice in February, the airport consultant wrote to the contractor, vehicle reliability has degraded to essentially zero and that the overall project is simply regressing as a result of the increased vehicle problems. Coming in here, we saw one train coming in and we thought everything was working, but apparently they still don't have them running. One, two, three. All right. The train trouble comes as O'Hare is in the early stages of an ambitious $8 billion expansion, which begs the question, if they can't get the trains to run, what kind of turbulence will the overall airport expansion plan encounter? The fact that we've had this trial uh, that has not gone too smoothly, uh, yes, should be uh, a cause of concern and certainly lessons should be drawn and learned as we move forward with, 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 with the larger and much more complex project. Aviation Commissioner Jamie Ray declined to speak with us on camera, but in a statement, her department insists substantial progress has been made in recent months and engineers are currently testing equipment to keep the trains running during severe winter weather. As for when the airport train will be certified to carry passengers again, we've learned the latest completion date of mid-June has been pushed back again. Micah and Ray, a new target date for completion has not been announced. Well, because of the pandemic, a lot of people weren't traveling, so they didn't notice it. But mm -hmm. now that travel is open again, what does this mean for international travel? Well, think about it. You know, so much has been made of Chicago as a global city with right. international arrivals. Everybody who arrives internationally and connects to another flight mm -hmm. someplace else in the country, they're now taking the bus and their first impressions of our city. Not so great. Not mm -hmm. so good. Yeah. Thank All you, right, ben. ben. Appreciate it. Temperature